Hello and welcome to Greeting Star. I'm so glad you could join me today. Here's a look at the card that we're going to be making today and we'll be using a uh, paper and supplies that come in a card kit from Spellbinders. It's the monthly card kit. It's a subscription that you can get from Spellbinders and this one is called Let Your Heart Soar. All of these beautiful little pieces came in the kit along with this blank card and they also provide the envelopes and I'm just going to trim up these papers and lay them out on the card in a pleasing way. So first off I'm going to take this pattern paper and this is has some words on it. I don't know if you can see that in the background there but there are words on this pattern paper. I'm just going to trim it up so it'll fit on my card base and uh, one of the things I noticed was there was a little strip of white at the top there so I wanted to trim that off before I measured to cut it down to size. And then this uh, tape adhesive also comes into in the kit so it's a really nice kit. You get everything you need to make at least 10 cards and um, that's a really cool thing, I think. So anyway, I thought it was a great value. So I'm making all of these cards, having so much fun doing it. It's so great to have everything you need right in front of you to make the cards and uh, have lots of fun things to play with. It's just uh, a really great, relaxing, fun thing to do. So I hope that you guys will uh, give card making a try because it's really, a, I think, the best hobby around. So anyway, I'm now going to trim up this beautiful floral uh, paper here with my paper trimmer. And um, what I want to do is on the bottom of it, I want to put a scalloped edge. So I take it away and I use my Fisker's Rotary Trimmer. It happens to have a scalloped edge that you can see right there. The only thing is, is these scallops are a tiny bit uh, too small for my liking. I think the card would have looked better if the scallops were a little bit larger. So that's just kind of a tip for you. maybe. Maybe you have larger scallops or perhaps you can use an electronic cutting machine if you have one. I do have one, but I didn't think of it. So um, that's what the card that's what the card is going to look like at the, with that particular scallop on it. And now I'm going to trim down this piece of paper. This is a really pretty uh, unique piece of paper and I'm kind of using it as a neutral to sort of and a, and a, sort of as a mat for my two tags that I'm going to put on the card. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn this cute little one into a tag by cutting out a fishtail. I'm just marking the center there so that I can cut out that fishtail and make sure it's nice and straight. And I'm going to do the same thing with that uh, paper that's in the background there. In just a moment you'll see that. So those two tags say thankful for you and so very thankful, which I think is perfect. I really love that. And I'm just using my um, cutting mat here to make that mark on this larger one to make sure I center it correctly. Then I'm going to adhere those to that. Uh, it looks like a ribbon, doesn't it? So those tags there are going to go right there and then that bird's going to go right there. Now I thought it would be nice to add a little bit of contrast between the tags and that uh, very busy floral pattern. So I'm using this gold mirrored cardstock that also comes in the card kit for this month. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put the rest of my card together first before I put that gold on to make sure that everything is aligned properly. So I'm going to just use this tape. It is so convenient to have everything you need in one card kit. I really like that about the kit. Um, I'm not an affiliate or, or anything, but I really do enjoy making cards with a card kit because everything you need is right there. Um, I, I may use a few other supplies like maybe dies or something or the paper trimmer, so, so on and so forth, but those are pretty basic supplies for any card maker, so that's not a big deal. So anyway, I'm just adhering these onto this uh, tag here, and then when I do that, I'll go ahead and put it on the card, and then I'll put those gold... Um, strips onto it. And I'm using some Tombow Mono to adhere the gold strips. The uh, the tape that came with the kit was a little bit too wide. I trimmed this down to about an eighth. So I'm just adhering this to that side and I'll cut it down with my detail scissors and then do the same thing on the other side. And I think that makes it stand out against that busy background. It just gives it that little bit of contrast that it needs to help it um, help your eye differentiate the tag from the background. 
So one of the things I like to do when I'm card making um, is sort of think ahead of time about the layout, but I'm not one to completely plan everything out. I don't know about you if you like to plan every little detail out ahead of time, but I kind of get an idea of where I want to go and then I play around with it. So for the inside of the card, I'm also using some more of these die cut shapes that came in the kit, and I'm just cutting out the words that I want to use. Um, so that's kind of a fun thing you can do too. Don't feel like you have to um, stick to exactly what's in the kit. You can cut things out and change things around and just use them to match your purposes. That's the, the way you got to do it when you have all this cool stuff to, to uh, play with. So I'm just going to adhere these little word strips that say you are amazing and this cute little bird at the bottom that sort of helps it tie in with the bird that's on the front of the card. And uh, I think this is the cutest little card. I just love these little characters. And I love the gold foiling detail that you get with um, with some of these die cut shapes that they gave you. There's some real pretty gold accents on all of them. So I like the card. This is really pretty. You could leave it alone, but I thought it needed something else. So I'm taking a look at these puffy 3D stickers that came in the kit, and I just am not real happy with those. So I decide to take out the um, die cut shapes, the flowers, and use that embossing stylus to sort of... Uh, shape the flowers which you'll see in a moment here right now i'm just trying to decide which flowers i want to go on the card and uh, what colors i think would look the best so i'm just kind of playing around here that like i said that's kind of what i do i don't uh, do a big plan ahead of time i kind of just play around and see where it takes me so you'll see that that blue flower on the bottom there wasn't enough of a contrast to really stand out so I decided the purple flower with the yellow there would be best and I even thought maybe we'll put that uh, purple one under there but I thought that was too much so I just leave it with those two and then those green leaves with the gold accent I thought was just perfect so now I'm gonna use um, a foam mat here it's a piercing mat but I'm just gonna use this stylus it has a round end not a sharp end and it just causes those flowers to kind of pop up and then I'm going to use some more Tombow Mono to adhere it to my card and make sure that it gets a good um, you know seal there and then I'm going to put these leaves on now you could I liked uh, I like to sometimes have things go off the edge of my card and the other times I don't so it's up to you I just had the leaves uh, pushed together so they would do that so here's a look at the card again um, thanks so much for watching. I hope you had a great time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope you give card making a try. Have a great day. Bye-bye.